Okay. Um, Jeff Yan. First of all, I want to thank the first speaker. When I came in this morning, actually, I heard he was talking about the work I did with uh, Ross Anderson uh, nearly 20 years ago on passwords. Thanks a lot. I was busy actually uh, working on uh, graphic passwords, uh, breaking captures, and uh, until recently, actually, I didn't come back to uh, password this topic. Yeah. So today is actually uh, my uh, password talk. Uh, this is about uh, targeted online password guessing. Um, the first two authors, uh, students working with uh, Professor uh, Wang Ping uh, at uh, Peking University, Beida. Both students, in particular the first author, Wang Ding, have done most of the hard work. And uh, Dr. Huang Xin Yi from uh, Fujian also contributed to uh, this work. Oh, sorry. Password guessing can uh, be uh, uh, divided into uh, two categories. Uh, one is a uh, uh, trolling attack, the other a uh, targeted attack. Let's have a quick look at the differences between uh, these two uh, uh, types of attacks. Uh, for a trolling attack, attackers gener generate a single list of guests for all accounts. Therefore, the same set of password candidates uh, will be tested on uh, different uh, uh, accounts. Um, the aim of attackers uh, is to uh, simply uh, uh, break in any accounts. Of course, the more the better. Yeah. Uh, this uh, type of attack uh, has been uh, extensively studied in the literature. Uh, in targeted attacks, attacker typically uh, will create a personalized uh, guest list per account. Uh, therefore, different password candidates uh, will be tested on uh, different accounts. Uh, the attackers in this uh, scenario, of course, they aim for specific accounts. And this topic uh, uh, is much less uh, studied, as uh, we will talk about it, uh, in, uh, in a while. Uh, really, only two papers are highly relevant, highly related to this topic. So what a research question. Uh, this, uh, collaboration, quite a, some people, yeah, are working on this for uh, quite a while, yeah. The research question we are addressing is actually very simple. How to uh, best do a targeted online guess? We are not interested, we are not much interested in offline guess attack. Yeah, we want to do actually a very challenging attack, which is a, a targeted online uh, guess. Um, in order to do this attack, we are uh, allowed to actually uh, exploit uh, a victim's leaked passwords from, uh, for example, service A. Yeah. Uh, we call this uh, uh, assist uh, uh, password or a sibling password or whatever. Yeah. And we are also allowed to uh, uh, exploit some personally identifiable information of this uh, victim. We call PII. Why is this uh, a challenging problem, um, we have the following uh, reasons. Uh, first of all, the number of guests allowed, because this is online attack, typically a uh, number of guests allowed is small. Uh, in some cases, actually, uh, some recommendation is that 100 guests are allowed per account for a certain period of uh, time, for example, 30 days. But we all know uh, PII uh, have very diversified uh, impact on uh, password choices. Um, also, uh, people are very creative when they reuse their passwords. They actually uh, uh, have used a very diversified set of uh, transformation rules for reusing their uh, password course websites. Another challenge is that Password reuse is uh, often uh, context-dependent. For example, 
when Alice used uh, Alice 1978 Yahoo as her password uh, for her uh, Yahoo account, um, it's a lot more likely for her to use actually uh, uh, Alice 1970 eBay as actually possible for uh, this eBay service rather than actually Alice uh, 1978, any random uh, suffix, or uh, uh, suffix, yeah. yeah. Uh, therefore, in order to make this kind of uh, online guessing attack work, we need uh, a semantics uh, well, a grammar. We need actually a semantics uh, well guess method. And this method should be adaptive. So, in summary, a key technical question is how to uh, prioritize the guessing order within the small amount of guests allowed. That's the uh, essential technical question we are addressing. Okay, related work. The first one uh, is by uh, DAS ETL uh, at uh, NDSS uh, 2014. And in some of my slides, I refer to this uh, uh, paper as a uh, reference item uh, 12. It's positioned in my paper, uh, in my reference section. Uh, this NDSS paper basically uh, is an empirical study on a password we use across uh, websites that didn't aim to uh, optimize online guessing, uh, target guessing at all. Therefore, the the algorithm for uh, uh, cross-site password guessing is very simple. Uh, the algorithm is uh, uh, some uh, heuristics. Um, and they use a fixed set of uh, transformation rules. And the uh, heuristics used and the uh, transformation rules are all actually executed in a fixed order. Yeah, so it's not adaptive uh, either. And they didn't consider popular weak passwords and uh, useful personal information was ignored uh, too. But uh, I'm not saying actually uh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, they, they should have done this, but actually their main aim is uh, quite different from us. So it's pretty fair for the uh, make those uh, decision choice at the time. Another related work basically was published uh, uh, in uh, April this year. Uh, just a few weeks, several weeks, uh, before we made our submission to CCS 16. So we had to you know, uh, do a lot of work to make sure we uh, 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 cite the paper, compare it with our uh, work. Yeah. So we were working very crazily, actually, during those uh, uh, weeks. Uh, the some ideas that similar to our uh, starting step, which we call target number one. But uh, the uh, attack is much weaker, yeah, as I will uh, show later why. And of course, we also have uh, many uh, advanced uh, attacking modes, yeah, models. Yeah. Uh, also, this uh, Infocom paper didn't aim to optimize on untargeted guests uh, either. Yeah. Uh, so a brief uh, summary of our work. Uh, first of all, we consider three kinds of personal information. Uh, first one is a one system, a one system password leaked from a website. And so we divide a PRR into two tabs. The first tab, tab one, are uh, like a name, birthday, phone number, email address, uh, uh, SSN, social security number. Or in Chinese user community is a national identity numbers. Yeah. So this type of uh, PR items are often used in uh, passwords in one way or another. Yeah, so this, uh, uh, this kind of uh, PR has uh, explicit impact on passwords created by users. A type two PR are different. For example, gender. This kind of items are not directly used in passwords, but have implicit impact. Uh, we actually, uh, yeah, want to incorporate all these kind of three types of uh, 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 personal information. And we also support all combination of these three types. Here I highlight four representative scenarios we uh, consider in our paper. 
uh, which we call targets one, two, three, and four. The difference is simple. If we look at these three uh, personal information we exploit, one system, one system password, type one PRI, type two uh, PRI. So actually, uh, uh, target one, we only exploit a type one PRI. Ta password, target two, we combine both uh, one system, one sister password and type one, oh sorry, uh, tag two only use actually one uh, system, uh, one sister password, yeah. Target three, we combine uh, one uh, uh, system password with a type one PRI. And target four, target four, uh, combine all these three uh, tabs. Of course, we also use uh, uh, password statistic information we can collect from a public data sets, public database of uh, uh, leaked passwords, in particular popular uh, password lists. Uh, why actually we uh, categorize our models into these uh, four uh, things? Uh, many reasons. Uh, first of all, it's straightforward to compare with actually uh, uh, prior art. Uh, secondly, basically our advanced models build on uh, lower models. Yeah. So it's step step by step as I my talk will uh, proceed. Yeah. And uh, another reason is basically uh, these four scenarios are pretty uh, uh, representative in terms of uh, targeted on, uh, online password guessing. Yeah. Okay, uh, key innovations in our work. First of all, we employ tab-based PI attacks to build semantics aware and semantics uh, uh, rich, uh, probabilistic context-free uh, grammar, PCFG. Uh, here, this tab-based, I mean tabs like a name, uh, birthday, phone number, SSN, this kind of tabs. So the Infocon 16 paper uh, use the similar idea, but they do length based PRI matching. We do tab based PRI matching, which is uh, uh, a lot more accurate uh, than theirs. Yeah. This is the first uh, uh, innovation. Second thing, the case in order for us is not fixed, uh, but uh, context uh, adaptive. And uh, we also actually uh, rely a lot on actually uh, learning. We learn, in, we learn useful information from training sets. For example, we learn PRI usage patterns, password component usage patterns. And finally, we also actually uh, introduce a Bayesian method to, uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, incorporate a tab two uh, PRI into our attacks. That's not uh, straightforward. Yeah, for example, if you ask yourself, how do you use gender information to improve your attack efficiency. Yeah, it turns out to figure out a, a, a Bayesian method to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to that. Okay, um, just give people who are not very familiar with PCFG uh, based uh, password cracking, uh, give a quick uh, uh, summary. This uh, was proposed for trolling uh, casting attack. Uh, key references uh, were at Auckland 09 and Auckland 14. The key idea is to uh, pass passwords into a letter, digit, and symbol segments and learn the probability of uh, base structure, basic structures, and L, D, and S segments from real uh, password datasets. For example, in the training phase, if we pass the password, this password one, two, three, then we, we are basically uh, get a base structure, L, oh sorry, L8, D3, because there are eight letters and three digits. Uh, therefore, we increase the uh, occurrence frequency of this uh, L8, D3 by one, the frequency, occurrence frequency. We also increase the uh, occurrence frequency of L8, uh, its uh, password by one, uh, and so on. This is the training uh, phase. In the guessing phase, the most important thing is basically to generate uh, possible candidates in decreasing probability order. So basically, the important thing is basically to decide the order, or decide the probability of a particular uh, possible candidate. So therefore, 
Um, the password one, two, three, the probability can be calculated by, by this uh, equation at the bottom of my slide. Yeah, basically is a, a multiple of actually three uh, 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 probabilities, which uh, we are be finalized the, uh, at the end of a training session because all those figures will be, the numbers will be pulled up from the training sets. Yeah. Okay, this is basically a PCFG based uh, password cracking. Okay, I give you a quick uh, uh, idea of our target phone. Yeah, this uh, uh, attack employs tap one PI only. Uh, our idea is actually uh, uh, pretty simple. Yeah, we want to capture as much uh, uh, PII semantics as possible. Yeah, therefore, in, ad in addition to uh, LDS attacks, we introduce actually a number of uh, tab based PII attacks. For example, N for name, B for birthday, E for email uh, prefix. Yeah, we just care the first part of email, A for username, I for national identity number or SSN, social security number, P for phone number, yeah, this kind of things. So, okay, a quick example. Uh, if we have a password WNG.123 in PCFG grammar system, this will be passed into L4, S1D3, because there are four letters, then uh, one symbol, uh, followed by three digits. But in our target PCFG, this uh, same password will be passed into different uh, base structure. We will turn it into N3, S1D3. So what's uh, this N3, uh, S1D3? There's a big difference between uh, these two uh, grammar systems. For each tab based PI attack, the subscription number indicates a particular PI subtype. Yeah. Whereas uh, subscript, subscript numbers for LDS tags indicate the length matched. Therefore, we define a number of fine grained, grained tags to describe actually different uh, 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 semantics of password. For example, N1 to N4 to uh, capture different uh, uh, description of uh, names. N1 is actually a uh, usage of full name, N2 is initials, N3 family name. So why this one is uh, passed into N3? Because here, yeah, uh, N3 represent actually a family name. Similarly, we have a, a fine grained text defined for other PI text, for example, BE and others. This is basically for target one. Yeah, we exploit uh, one type of PI only. So, okay, PI, let's uh, move on. Now it's um, target two. Here we actually, we exploit the leaked password together with actually uh, uh, public information. Uh, the key idea here is uh, password reuse behaviors are context uh, dependent. So we need the training, we need to do some training to capture those context dependent information. Uh, for example, if we look at PWA and PWB in training set, uh, if this PWB is in the top popular list, in this case we uh, use actually top 10 to uh, 4, that's uh, uh, 10,000 uh, top uh, password lists, then the occurring frequency of the target to yes, this rule will be uh, increased by one. Otherwise, this uh, uh, pair of password we we'll go through uh, next training stage. Uh, the, f the first, the left, uh, the left uh, uh, arrow means actually the uh, structure level training. Yeah, we actually have six uh, structure level rules. Uh, they cover insertion, deletion, uh, capitalization, uh, lead, transfer, substring movement, reversal. Yeah, afterwards we do a segment level uh, training. Two rules. So. There are many rules, just give you a flavor of what we did. So actually these are uh, rules for, assist, uh, for structure level training, yeah. And uh, the, this one is for the uh, segment level uh, training. Okay, that's talk is two. Now let's move on, talk is three. In this case we want to uh, combine system password, or sister, sorry, I always make this mistake. Sibling probably is easier for me. Sister. We want to exploit sister passwords and type one PRI. Uh, it turns out 
with the work of Wataka Swana too. This is very easy. If we write the uh, PCFG for Takas 2, uh, that's actually this, uh, uh, all this uh, uh, fancy Greek things, Greek characters, yeah. This is actually uh, uh, represents the uh, um, grammar tool we use for uh, Takas 2. And uh, what we need to do here for Takas 3, we just need to introduce tab based PII tags we used in Takas 1 into this Takas 2. Just like this, we insert uh, those 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 uh, uh, tags to uh, uh, the V. Then we are done. We call the grammar 